Hey, what's up, social media? Haven't made a video in a long time. Haven't made a video about reviewing movies or anything, so I decided I would make a video. And one of the things that I am very passionate about is music. Uh, making music, listening to music, thinking about music, all of it. Music is a really important thing to me. Excuse me. Uh, so there's an album that just recently came out. It is called K.O.D. by J. Cole. Uh, okay, so to, to start with, I'm a big, I'm a, I don't always, I like J. Cole a lot. I don't always agree with uh, the messages of his songs, but as an artist, I respect him entirely. And, excuse me, the only things that I, the only reason I usually don't agree 100% with some of his songs is that he's kind of racist. Uh, whatever direction or whatever, from whatever race, whatever, any degree of racism, I, I mean, I don't really get offended, but it, it's kind of a turn off to me. But um, that aside, you know, I don't know. That, I've never lived in the state he's from, and I know it's the Carolina, so it's kind of a different part of the country. But anyways, um, his past albums, I really got into uh, Forest Hill Drive. Didn't really like Born Center that much. But um, the other one, uh, For Your Eyes Only, I bought it. I listened to it the whole way through. I enjoyed it. But it was boring to me, kind of. I didn't really get much out of it. I didn't... Um, the beats... There was a couple good beats, but once I heard them a few times, it was... I was bored of them. There wasn't... To me, you know, I, I could go back and listen to it again, but I didn't get... I didn't feel like there was much content when I listened to the art... Excuse me, the, art, the album the first time. So, when KOD came out, I was like, uh... I don't know. I don't think it's really worth my time. I kind of lost interest in J. Cole. And, you know, I uh, I saw the album art, and I just thought, wow. Like, it didn't, it looked stupid to me. I, I assumed, Tech 9 had an album that was called K.O.D., and it was, uh, it stood for King of Darkness. And I didn't, so I did a little research, and J. Cole's actually stands for three different things. It stands for Kids on Drugs, King Overdose, and, um, what's the last one? Uh, Kill Our Demons. So it's way more positive than, uh, than, uh, Tech Nine's King of Darkness. But Tech Nine's a whole different artist, so I'm not criticizing Tech Nine. But anyways, so on my Pandora the other night, one of the new songs came on from his album, and... I was like, oh, okay, this is actually kind of cool. The beat's decent. Uh, the content, I didn't really... The song is ATM, which I'm pretty sure is just about a lust for money, but it wasn't... It was enough to where I'm like, okay. So, you know, got... You know, I have to be thankful because I actually... I work at a job where certain parts of it I can listen to music. Not everyone has... Some people make millions of dollars. Other people have, you know... you. It's it's Life is what you make out of it, I guess, but... Thankfully, I have part of my job I can listen to music, so uh, I decided to go over to Apple Music and uh, play the album, and I listened to the whole thing last night, and wow, I was really impressed. J. Cole really, really uh, stepped it up with that. One of the things I've always thought of as an artist or as any type of person living on Earth is that what is your impact going to be? What is your... What do you when at the end of your life are you going to be able to stand before God and say like you know I tried to, you know I did this or I did that or I didn't do this and I didn't do that and you know what is it that you want to do while you're here on Earth what is it that you want to change or try to at least put some good energy into the world and especially with rappers I've always thought to myself if I was to you know write any type of lyrics that weren't poetry like uh, about love or something like that if it was some type of lyrics, lyrics that I would want them to have substance. I would want them to have impact and content and meaning. And even if it's not the most positive or 
you know, happy thing, I would at least want it to try to influence people in the right direction because it's not, it's not fair to, to breed destruction. It's irresponsible. It's, it's one thing if you choose to be a destructive person, but to, to sell other people the idea of being destructive, that's just not, and that's why I'm picky about who I listen to. Like, I can listen to artists like Gucci Man and but only for so long. But when I listen to an artist who is, you know, kind of like, quote unquote, hard, and also has like, not that J. Cole comes off as being a gangster or anything like that, but um, those type of artists who, who, who can pull both off, like, but also be a positive person, like, that's usually my favorite type of artist. You know, there's, there's tons out there. T- Tupac is probably one of the most famous for being that way. He, he's, he's obviously edgy but he's also very positive very positive artist but um anyways so this album kod it's it's well written it's pos- it has so many ideas in it that that the world that pop culture does not want to hear right now it, it's thought provoking it makes you think about what you're doing what choices you're making who you're impacting and it's it's the exact it it's it's really the the exact type of uh, content that I would expect for myself if I was to write that type of stuff and that I mean everyone has different tastes but I think that everyone could benefit from being more thoughtful and being more intuitive and being more philosophical I think is the word but um, and if he's got decent music behind it de- decent beats made behind it it's even better so I'm definitely going to have to give props to J. Cole for KOD. Um, Not that he's listening. But if you're uh, curious about checking out that album, I would go go listen to it. Go actually listen to it. When I was listening to it last night, it was at the point where, like, I, uh, I, I was intentionally listening to each word if, if someone came up and talked to me or something happened where I had to stop I would start the song over because I wanted to hear what he was saying I was listening to what he was saying I wasn't interested in just oh you know I want to get through this album I want to hear it all I was I was learning from it and that's if you're a millionaire rapper who's ha- made record deals a pop culture icon and you're influencing people in a positive way that's that to me says something and whether, you, you know, maybe you're the type of person, no, oh, I don't want that, that's not me, I'd rather just, that's weak or blah, blah, blah. You know, you will learn in life that, that that's a false pride, is that it means something to be humble. It means something to know your limits and to know your strengths and weaknesses. And if, if you think someone trying to do the right thing is weak, then you've never experienced power or weakness. So I would definitely recommend... I know I, I've hated on J. Cole a few times because for certain reasons, but for the most part, like I said, I respect him entirely. And this album is really great. So uh, if you're if you're in the mood for some um, thought-provoking hip hop and tired of the usual, I don't even get tired of mumble rap. I don't get tired of I get tired of repetitiveness. I don't get I don't judge people based on what they pr- create just because of the way, it, just because they change a new style or something like that if it's unoriginal or if it's repetitive yeah i'll get tired of it but anyways if you're tired of that type of music you know what's really popular right now go listen to kod by j cole i would definitely recommend it if not you know purchase it i don't know directly how much he's going to support him it's not like he's a he's an independent artist or anything but um that i would definitely go check it out great album